folks, Harry Potter. They just did the, the final movie, Bowed, uh, and uh, I will not confirm or deny that that had any bearing on the Summer Movie League standings, where now Sarah Lane is trouncing everybody by $200 million. It's, it's <laughs> but by just the way, I, I scant uh, four days ago, I was in the lead by uh, $30 million. My strategy that Harry Potter would make less than $30 million <laughs> would be a woefully incorrect one. Yes! Apparently, uh, Chip Blickenberg uh, died of... <laughs> died uh, of rage is what happened. He saw the latest numbers, and he had an aneurysm and just completely exploded with frustration. Exactly. But, uh, of course, uh, it really uh, symbolically kind of marks the end of the gigantic releases, what with the books all done, and now with the movies having all been released. But there is a, a realm of music that if you're not into it and you do dig Harry Potter, then you really do owe yourself to take a good look at is Wizard Rock. It is all sorts of awesome musicians who sing awesome songs about the entire Harry Potter universe. And we have one of the premiere acts that we are so lucky to have on tonight to mark the occasion. Folks... Uh, you can see them at Rockstock 5. That is Halloween weekend uh, right outside of St. Louis, Missouri, where you can find it at Rockstock.com. Or Sonorous 2011 in Vienna, Virginia. That's near D.C. You can go to Sonorous2011.com. Uh, Their latest CD is called Nobody Expects the Blibbering Humdingers. You can find them at BlibberingHumdingers.com. Folks, playing Voldemort Made Me Crap My Pants live and direct. It is the blibbering humdingers. Welcome to NSFW show. Hey there. Hey. Can you hear us okay? Yeah, no, you're you're coming in loud and clear, and uh, you guys look fantastic. We are ready to rock. Bring bring oh. this rock upon our faces. Sweet, we're gonna take out these earbuds and uh, let uh, Voldemort Sing a song. Uh, crap my pants here. This is this is all about the emotional scar that uh, Harry was left with all his life. Oh. I was lying in my crib At my house in Godric's Hollow There was drool on my bib Chewing on a toy that I could not swallow Then some guy came late at night I saw a flash of greenish light Thought I did not stand a chance Then he made me crap my pants Voldemort And a giant came to rescue me With my diaper full of crap So he changed my nappy carefully Then I spent the next ten years Underneath the Dursley stairs Dreaming of his awful laughs When he made me crap my Now I'm lying in my bed In my room in Gryffindor Tower I am brave or so it sets I'm a king with magic powers But the Dark Lord ain't impressed That bad guy gives me real stress By going to the U.O.S. You will fall, made me crap my pants. Finding a date really made me crap my pants. Basilisk dementors of me and a girl from France. They all made me crap my pants. Dolores Umbridge, that witch, made me crap my pants. Molly Weasley, well, she made me crap my pants. Call pen. God, the note that's empty. Always makes me crap my pants. 
my first date with Cho Chang. Well, I nearly crapped my pants. Myrtle, Romilda, all girls who want romance. They all make me crap my pants. Hermione's cooking always makes me crap my pants. No more mushrooms. Ron Weasley's driving. Oh, that makes me crap my pants. Finest. Thank you guys so much for uh, for joining us. Dude. Uh, it is it is it is my my everlasting joy on this show that we get to highlight musical acts for uh, our our awesome fans that wouldn't uh, otherwise uh, you know be in front of them. And, and this is you guys being on is is way part of that. It, it really is the the example that I will always point to. Uh, and let me tell you, dude, this song. This song has success written all over it because you've <laughs> are, not only not only be planned for this thing to explode, but think about it. The whole idea, you know, Voldemort made me crap my pants. You're already set for the weird, weird out parody. Baltimore made me crap my pants about when he gets <laughs> lost on the bad side of town. See, you're, you're thinking ahead. That's what I like about it. So, yeah, where are you guys? We were you guys about Baltimore? <laughs> are, are you guys? Are you guys playing anywhere soon, or is there an album that we can buy? What 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 do you got to plug? What can we do to support you guys? We have. We have three albums, and you can uh, find them on blibberinghumdingers.com. Um, you can find them on iTunes and Amazon MP3 and all those kind of places. <laughs> uh, we we right, post most website, of our but... updates are on our Facebook page. So Facebook. So, so just, just so we have the spelling right, it, you said blubbering humdingers or no, no, blubbering. No, blubbering. It's spelled right there on the screen. Right. And then, B-L-I-B-B. Blibbering B-L-I-B-B. Humdingers. B-L-I-B-B. It's a Luna Lovegood reference that's not oh, in the movies. It. It's in the books. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. One of Luna's mythical, mythical creatures. Uh, awesome, awesome. Well, so, uh, uh, do you have time for one more for us? We just lost our co-host, Casey McKinnon. Just dropped <laughs> off. Oh, gonna try to, uh, she well, was well, the good-looking <laughs> one. Uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we can so, do another. Uh, blibbering Humdingers. Uh, what what is the uh, the song you're gonna play us out for this episode, and, and what are we gonna hear? This one's called Dobby Bang Your Head. It was written for a charity compilation called Seriously Smiling. And hang on, we uh, <laughs> we tripped over a chord here, running to get a prop. So all right, uh, we're good now. Okay. We, <laughs> all right, here we go. You ready for us? Technical issues. So this is new for us, but I'm sure we can stumble <laughs> through it. <laughs> well, Great. ladies all right. and gentlemen, you can. Uh, Get them at uh, blibberinghumdingers.com. Their latest album is Nobody Expects the Blimmering, uh, the Blibbering Humdingers uh, playing. Dobby, bang your head one more time. Okay. Folks, yeah. Wizard Rock Zone, the Blibbering Humdingers. Still talking. One, two, three, four. All summer you stole my letters. I think that you have better. Tell me what you thought that would do. Uh-oh. The Dursleys were entertaining. You started levitating. That pudding and now I'm out of school. Uh oh. But then I jumped aboard the Weasley's fine board with Ron, George, and Fred. And Dobby just banged his head. Yeah, Dobby. 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 Bang your head. Yeah, Dobby. 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 Bang your head. This mental elf will drive you mad. I was playing in a Quidditch game. Malfoy tried to do the same. But just started chasing after me. Started flying all through the bleachers. Something's burning. Hey, it's a teacher. What you doing, Miss Hermione? <laughs> then Lockhart worked his charm. Got no bones in my arm. I'm lying in this bed. And Dobby just banged his head. Yeah, Dobby. 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 Bang your head. 
yeah, Dobby. 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 Bang your head. This mental elf will drive you mad. Ba 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 Then we got in a fix Done in by Bellatrix Now that Dobby's dead He can't bang his own head So I just sort of, you know, grab it by the ear And, um, I don't know, <laughs> hit it with a stick Or um, against, against my wife hey. Or hit it against the guitar <laughs> or something But uh, it's really starting to smell And it's lost a lot of blood So maybe I should see a taxidermist or something Isn't Oh well. gross? Now I'm a wizard rock star Drums, bass, electric guitar And Dobby's gone, but that's okay I know his spirit lives on Rocks out with me and Ron He helps us rock the night away Cause when I play show He's there in the front row Rocking to books he's read And bang in his head. Yeah, Dobby. 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 Bang your head. Yeah, Dobby. 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 Bang your head. This mental elf will drive you mad. This mental elf will drive you mad. And it's always Dobby this and Dobby that. Poor Dobby had to iron his hands. What about us? We were tortured by the legions of Mordor. But did we tell them about the pressure? <laughs> <laughs> but Bring in no, us! This is why you don't have any friends. But what about Dobby? Dobby's our friend. Dobby really he hates Dobby. Dobby! That's awesome. Dude, so much oh win. It cannot God, be contained. Blibbering humdingers. Uh, thank you guys so much again, blibberinghumdingers.com, folks. If you are into the Wizard Rock movement, please, you owe yourself a favor. Uh, if you like that, to go uh, find some of the other awesome bands. But first and foremost, thank you guys uh, uh, so much for coming on. I really do, uh, I really do appreciate it. All right. Oh, my God. You guys were amazing. Real quick. Thank you so much to the Blibbering hum- Humdingers. You guys were awesome. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Is this a busy time for you guys with the release of the last big movie of the series? Yeah, we just spent the the last uh, most of the last week in Orlando at a huge convention with about thirty four hundred people, and there were stars from the movie there, and like uh, got a dozen different Wizard Rock bands playing main stage. It was insane. It was awesome. Dude, how great! How great is the I'll, Wizarding I'll World what, of yeah, Harry I, Potter? Uh, to- totally. <laughs> it looks great. I just wish there was more to do there. Besides Lots hang out and get blitzed on butterbeer? I mean, what else is there? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. The shops are all kind of small and don't have a whole lot of products. There's oh, only geez. like a couple of rides. So. Uh, I mean, are, you, are, you, are you being sarcastic here? Because it's like you could man. You spend all day. No, in. seriously. I'm not being sarcastic. I mean, it, it, looks, it looks fabulous. It's like you're walking through freaking Hogsmeade. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't think Universal expected it to do really well, but we heard from an insider that they're already planning to expand it. Oh, insider. Yeah, no, no, insider. That's, 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 Wait a minute. Are you telling me that they like their money printing factory so much that they'd like to have more of it? That's amazing. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. This just in. I'm sorry. Special report. This just in. Live in the newsroom. Universal likes money. Justin, we go to you. <laughs> The money, the money bug has taken yet another victim. Universal Studios. So apparently is now so money crazy, they're going to turn the money factory. Um, yeah, that's, there was a really, uh, a really embarrassing uh, uh, 15 minutes but last summer when Brian was, was there for uh, Halloween Horror Nights where we just really tried to just really just out awkward the person who was working at the Hogsmeade <laughs> with the, uh, the three broomsticks. Just, uh, you know, like, oh, we are but poor muggles. Can you please <laughs> us some butter beer? <laughs> yeah, they never get both of like really awkward. Awkward. No, never. never. <laughs> <laughs> Permanent. 